Okay, let's start on this problem here. So we're given a circuit and we're to use KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, to find the branch currents I1 to I4. So I1, I2, I3, I4. So let's start off by using KCL. And let's work on, let's say this point right here. Let's call this one. Okay, so at one, remember KCL is N equals out. N equals out. So we have N, we have zero. All of these are going out. And we have out, we have I2 plus three plus seven. So I2 is equal to negative 10 amps. So that is opposite of the direction of this area arrow. The arrow actually goes the other direction. So the other direction there. So let's keep going. And now let's do this point over here. We'll call this two. So remember that you can do this in versus out, or you can rearrange this by n minus out equals zero. So we could do either. So let's try this. So we have n, we have i1 plus i2, i2 is going in, and then out is negative two. So minus two here equals zero, in minus out. Okay, and by doing this, we put in here, we put in negative 10, negative 10 into there, and i1 is 12 amps. Okay, so we have I1, I2, and now we need I3 and I4. So let's go to this point now, three. So at three, we have N is two, and out is negative four, four, minus I4, I4 equals zero. So we have six minus I4, so I4 is equal, is that right? I4, so this negative two, so I4, comes out to negative two amps, negative two amps. So I4 is actually going in. And four, this point. So we have N, we have seven, and plus I4 minus the out, which is I3. And that is zero. And we have I4, we put in negative two there. So we have five I3 is five amps. Five amps. So we have I1, I2, I3, and I4. And the way we chose these was we chose one first because there is one unknown, I2. And then we moved to two because there's one unknown, I1. Then to three, and then to four. 